Yo, hey, what's up guys? It's September 13th, 2013, and I know I haven't done a video in a while. I want to apologize to all my subscribers and viewers. I've just been very, very busy. Um, number one, I don't know if a lot of you know, but I was unemployed, searching for jobs, pretty much just taking all of my time. And then I finally found one on Monday, which I started also, and it's pretty cool. So my time has pretty much been tied up either from hunting for jobs and now that I have one just been working. So with the videos itself I do want to show what I've picked up in the past two weeks here uh, from my local Arizona Collector Marketplace. Since I'm assuming there's some of you out there that really haven't seen my videos, my previous videos, you don't know what the Arizona Collector Marketplace is. It's pretty much a vintage toy store. And I don't want to really indulge too much, but take a look at my other videos, my past ones. I've done pretty much just, I've gone through the whole store, I've taken video here and there, and it's a really cool thing. And uh, here in Arizona, we have one, or it's pretty much open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Saturdays, you can go and sell your stuff, and that's when I usually go either to sell or I buy stuff. And this is one thing that I purchased. Star Wars Return of the Jedi Ewok Village. There was an individual there that was selling a bunch of his old Star Wars collection. Don't really know why, I didn't have a chance to talk to him because it was pretty busy, but I'm really glad that I picked this up. Now normally on eBay, this pretty much goes for anywhere from, you know, maybe 80 to over $100 and I picked it up for much less than that. Now I'm really glad that I did because I don't really plan on selling it, I just really want to collect it and everyone knows. Uh, who the Ewoks are and what they were in the Star Wars movie, but I'm really glad this one specifically is because it came with the box, it came with the instructions, and it's 100% complete, and I'm going to show you guys right now, okay? So if you don't want to see this, just fast forward through the video a little bit. I did buy some other stuff, you know, feel free to fast forward, but for the ones that do want to see how it looks, or at least what's inside, how it is complete, what parts is, in, is, in, uh, is included, uh, stay tuned. Alright, the first thing guys I want to show you with this, uh, some miscellaneous parts. This in particular is the little carrying, um, I want to say the little chair that the Ewoks carry Luke in, or I'm sorry, not Luke, uh, 3CPO in the movie, uh, where the, the really four Ewoks are on basically each side, and it turns into a little chair. 3CPO sits right in the middle and they carry him off into the village. And this is what pretty much it is. I know there's kind of a small little glare from the bag. I try to put all my individual pieces in polyurethane comic book bags only to keep them, you know, nice and fresh and not to get them lost or or just uh, confused, you know, hey, where's this part go? I don't remember. Just They're pretty much just all together. So I put them in bags. So that's what I'm going to show you. So that's pretty much, that's the chair. All right, here's the fire hut that comes with it, the trap, the net the net trap and here's the boulder. They both have their original strings with them and then right here is I believe it's a chair that goes with that's, that actually attaches inside the Ewok village. So they're all there also which is pretty cool. Don't really see a lot of Ewok villages that have the original net and plus the string. That's really hard to find. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Here is the original elevator too. Um, it folds into kind of a square box and uh, it pretty much has another piece of string which I don't have it attached, it's attached to another piece which I'll show you in a bit but uh, it's a little mini elevator uh, uh, for the Ewok village. Here are some more parts here again in bags here are some more plastic wooden pieces and like I said, they're all there. There are the other pieces right in there. The three large wooden trunks and the two large gray bases or at least uh, wooden floors or plastic floors if you want to say. And then like I mentioned earlier, this is the instruction sheet. And yeah, I put them in Mylar bags and magazine size Mylar bags just to keep them, you know, nice and fresh so they don't uh, discolor or degrade over time. And that works out just fine. And like I said, the box itself, uh, the box, there's nothing cut out. The box is really nice still. 
and I'm really glad that I picked this up for a really good price. If I told you guys how much I paid for it, you would probably be wow, that, you would you would be you would be happy for me. Let's put it that way. But yeah, that's what I picked up. And uh, let me show you guys what else I picked up, huh? The other thing, guys, that I picked up was this really cool, awesome Walking Dead action figure set with Michonne, Pet One, and Pet Two zombies. When I saw these at the toy marketplace, I had to get them. I was able to negotiate a price only because my plan really was not to resell them. I want, they were mint and packaged, by the way. And I told the guy, you know, I really want to open them up. They may be worth money, but I want to display them since Michonne is one of my favorite characters in The Walking Dead in the comic books plus the TV show. So I had to get this. Now the detail, of course, of course we all know how McFarlane is. McFarlane, you know, they do really top-notch, especially when it comes to detail in action figures or at least uh, in models. Uh, but these specifically are really, really nice. I apologize that the lighting isn't really that great. Um, again, it's just... Uh, uh, I need to get a better light bulb, probably. But as you can tell, with the pet zombies there, of course they are wearing their backpacks. There's a shotgun in one of them there. There's the other backpacks. And the pet one and pet two do come with bases, as you can tell there, only because they are kind of uh, disoriented. The shape, you know, they're not really meant for, they don't really have any articulation, let's put it that way. The legs or knees and feet, they do not bend. They're pretty much just stiff as they are. Michonne, however, does have a lot of art art articulation in the ankles, the knees, uh, of course, the, the hip joints right here, and then the arms, of course. Uh, she does come with her famous samurai sword, and she did have a sheath. But, of course, I'm not using the sheath because I'd rather have her hand use the chain. The chain, the two chains, they are not attached to each other, okay? They're separate chains, but you, if um, you wiggle them in her hand in a certain way and put it, you know, in her thumb, she can hold the chains of both of them with no problem. And so as soon as I get my uh, glass cases, my collector cases, or display case, however you want to say, I plan on putting these three babies in there just for display. And they look really cool. Also, it's really cool that the cape or this uh, hooding can come off with no problem too, so it can show her, her hair and her face. But I think she's pretty cool how she looks now, especially if you're looking on a side view or a frontal view. It looks really, really cool, so I plan on putting this on for display. Uh, a few people have already seen it here at my house, and they're really, really surprised on how much detail um, that these action figures from McFarlane are. But unfortunately, these, these themselves, I think they're like maybe second or third series, and they're really hard to find, especially with shown. So I'm glad I picked them up for a really good price. And uh, let's see what's next that I bought, huh? I was also lucky enough, guys, to score these two mint on card vintage action figures. And of course, we all know what it's from. It's from the Beetlejuice line, made popular by the Beetlejuice movie and cartoon that came out in the late 80s. 88, 89, I believe. These two are really cool. They were the only ones available uh, for purchase at my Arizona collector market that I always try to go to every weekend. These two, I picked them up for 15 bucks each, which is pretty, it's a pretty good deal. Um, that's what usually average out on eBay for, usually about 10, 15, 20 bucks, depending on which one you buy. And these are the only two that I have for right now. I figured, you know what, they're really cool. I want to collect these only because they remind me back in that time, back in the late 80s when Beetlejuice came out, when uh, the movie Batman came out. And also, these remind me of the early uh, um, Ghostbuster figures, you know, where you would move a hand or you would click the, or you would uh, uh, squeeze the legs together or you would take the head off and it would be kind of a monster underneath the action figure or underneath the Ghostbuster. It's the same scenario with these ones. This one right here is Shipwreck Beetlejuice. It comes with a little, looks like a little three-headed uh, snot guy or booger guy, who knows. <laughs> but it looks pretty cool. And this one, when you move the arms up, just like that, like four little green snakes or, or I want to say maybe uh, squid-like fingers uh, pop out of his head. Let me turn it around. There you go, there's a better idea. And of course these are mint on card. I believe this is either the second or third series in the Beetlejuice toy line. And unfortunately they weren't that popular back then, only because they were being sold out, or at least 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles had uh, the main market in toys at that time. This came out, like I said, in 89, and, and yeah, of course, the Turtles, they were brand new. They came out and they destroyed it. They killed it. I remember always wanting to go and uh, get a, a Ninja Turtle figure back then, and I remember seeing these Beetlejuice figures, but I'm like, nah, I, I, I want a Turtles. I want some Ninja stuff. <laughs> So, uh, but again, like I mentioned, as you can tell in these pictures, you can, they resemble the early Ghostbusters, you know, where you would morph or you would transform some of these figures and they would pretty much just uh, morph into a different or like a monster. And those are really cool. And I don't know if it's because Halloween, maybe Halloween's coming up and I'm a really big Halloween fan. I'm getting into the, into the Halloween spirit here. Who knows? But I figured, you know, I'm going to start collecting these and hopefully around Halloween I'll I can do like maybe a little little Halloween uh, vintage toy thing I don't know a toy video where I'm showing off some of my uh, horror or really cool action figures that are kinda scary I don't know who knows but anyways back to this uh, Showtime Beetlejuice with Rotten Rattler this one's pretty cool everyone knows remembers this part of the scene right where this uh, Beetlejuice he turns into a giant snake for uh, the stair rail and uh, yeah and of course this guy right here where he rolls out his arms and that one fat guy has or those uh, uh, two people have to uh, um, hit his arms and his head goes pops off so it's kind of the same scenario see and that's pretty cool and I believe this one is the very first series of Beetlejuice of the toy line uh, this one also came out in 1989, and there you go, you get a better idea of the other figures also that came out. I really, really want to get this uh, Vanishing Vault with Micro Beetlejuice. It's pretty cool. You put a Beetlejuice character right in there, you pull the handle, Beetlejuice gets sucked in inside the bed, and then in replacement, this little mini Beetlejuice pops out of the bed. So it's kind of a quick switcheroo, which is pretty cool. I remember a friend of mine used to have that and bring it to school sometimes, and I'd be like, oh, that's pretty cool, but uh, I never really asked for it because, uh, again, like I said, I was really into the Ninja Turtle line at that time, so uh, I didn't really want these, but now I do. And like I said, they're pretty affordable, guys. I bought these for 15 bucks each. That's pretty much what they go for eBay. Uh, loose ones probably go for a couple bucks. So if you're into them, check them out. If not, if you just want to see me buy them and do maybe a little review, I will. Stay tuned. It's October's coming up, so I'll probably do something for Halloween. Who knows? But uh, let's see what else I bought, huh? I also got this. I was able to work this into the special deal for the Ewok Village when I purchased it. So pretty much got both these for a really, really good price. Now what this is, guys, this is again another Star Wars, I would say, action figure accessory. A large accessory. It's a tripod laser cannon toy. What it is is just, you know, you would have your Star Wars figures next to it and it would, you know, you would pretend that it would be shooting. And it's really cool because it has, you know, it's turret sound still there which is just a little piece of plastic inside the turret which when you turn it is supposed to resemble the gun firing of course and it also comes with its battery pack and uh, uh, hose if you want to say so that's really really cool my plan for these guys they're really not I would say that much collectible or at least uh, wanted in the collector market for Star Wars. But I think they're really cool, because especially for display pieces. I do plan on getting maybe some Imperial Stormtroopers uh, just to go side by side as if they're firing this cannon. And again, another display piece for my uh, collector case that I plan on purchasing here within the next month or so for my Kia. Now, this, like I said, um, it's 100% complete. It comes with the box. It also came with the instructions and it came with, let me open it up here guys. Uh, so here's the instructions that it came with and then it also came with the, with the Star Wars uh, collector brochure, right? Let me move this out of the way. I don't know if a lot of you have seen this. But it's pretty cool. This is actually my first time seeing one in person. I've seen these online, but what it is is pretty much just kind of, um, um, I don't want to say checklist, but just a catalog of figures that 
have come out previously or came out during the same time as this canon. So if there's something a kid, you know, hey, I really like this, you know, they're pretty much what I would do of like, hey, mom, you know, give me that for Christmas. I'll circle it or I'll <laughs> end up giving my mom this, this brochure and sure enough, she would go off going on Christmas and, you know, figure out which ones I circled so she'll buy. But um, this is it. This is pretty cool. So I'm actually pretty glad that I purchased this. Again, like I said, it was not a whole lot of money. Uh, I was pretty much short on funds. I got it on a really, really good deal. And I think they're really, really cool. Hey, before I end the video, guys, I do want to do a quick shout out. One thing I do want to apologize to all my viewers that have been leaving little side notations in my discussion board, which is located pretty much on my channel. Uh, on my home page, of course, you know what you see here on my home page, you know, my normal videos. But I completely forgot that there's a discussion tab where people can leave side notes on your whole channel. And like I said, to tell you the truth, I completely forgot. My daughter was looking at videos here and she was clicking on, you know, a little uh, the tabs up top and she realized, hey, hey dad, you have people leaving notes on you. One specifically is from the incredible CJ. He writes, hey man, I just wanted to let you know that you have inspired me to start my own collection videos, collecting video series, and was wondering if you can give, uh, you could maybe watch my three videos and maybe give me a sub and a shout out to help me get out there in the comic book community a little more. Love your stuff, man. I look forward to hearing from you. Incredible CJ, I really, really apologize, man. I, I have not... <laughs> I didn't even know, man, to be honest with you. Um, shoot. What I'm going to go ahead and do right now, let me go ahead and go to your channel here real quick. I'm going to, I'm going to sub to it. As you can tell, bam! I'm a subscriber. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, yes, there he is. Everyone else watching this video, check him out. He collects comic books. He's done quite a number of videos since he posted that eight months ago. Uh, check him out again, the incredible CJ. I do apologize, and also everyone else that has posted that actually has posted on my discussion board. I'll be getting to you also because I've uh, I've noticed there's quite a bit of few uh, posts on here. And again, I do apologize, guys. I I completely forgot about this. But don't worry, guys. I'm getting more active here since now that I have a job. Uh, more videos will be coming out. More content, comic books, toys, vintage toys. So expect those. And uh, yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys, what I've purchased. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up, let me know. Expect another video for tomorrow. I do plan on doing another a special comic book video, which uh, I would say about a month ago, I did one in regards to uh, like your favorite, like your uh, saving, your emergency saver, there it is. <laughs> your emergency saver comic books. If you were in a fire or if shit hit the fan, you had only a few minutes to grab a comic book box or at least a few comics, what would they be? And I'm doing a series on that. So expect another video out probably tomorrow showing you part two of another comic book that I have that pretty much I want to save. I'll, I plan on keeping forever. So until then, guys, thanks for watching and uh, peace.